Two engine start, one. Since it rocketed aloft in 2009, the Kepler Space Telescope has vastly added to mankind's store of knowledge about planets, some potentially very much like our own. Focused on a tiny area in the constellation Cygnus, just 0.25% of the sky, Kepler discovered 4,035 objects that are likely to be planets. Most of them would not support life as we know it. But a handful are not too big, not too small, not too hot, and not too cold. In terms of possibly supporting life, just right. We have approximately 50 that are in the Goldilocks zone. Most of the galactic real estate Kepler scoped out, however, is pretty undesirable. This result has significant implications for the search for life. Approximately half of the planets that we know are so common uh, have no solid surface or a surface deep beneath the crushing weight of a thick atmospheres. And these would not be nice places to live. Kepler found planets of all sorts. Some were frozen solid, others boiling with lava, still others wrapped in giant oceans. One object called KOI 7711 could be a close cousin to Earth based on its size and distance to its star. But it's too soon to say whether it's a twin of Earth. Another Earth-like planet discovered last year by a telescope in Chile is right in our galactic neighborhood. It's not crazy that we found a planet in the habitable zone of the closest star to the sun. So Proxima Centauri b has a small planet in the habitable zone. How close is close in terms of light years? Just a couple. Just a right couple. Right next door. The scientists emphasize there's so much they still need to learn about the planets they've found. One theme is important for us is, are we alone? And maybe Kepler today had told us uh, indirectly, although we don't have confirmation, that we are probably not alone. NASA is planning to launch an even more sophisticated series of space probes over the next several years to look even deeper into our galaxy and perhaps to answer some of humanity's most important questions. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Mountain View, California.